a number full Wednesday students. Join me as you learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Din and welcome to our class. In many real life situations apply the concept of quadratic equations. The motion of a falling object, for instance, can be investigated using quadratic equations. From the path of volleyball or baseball to a buzzer beater shot which could make any basketball team win, all these situations apply the concept of quadratic equations. For today's session, we will talk about solving quadratic equations. Are you ready, students? Come on and let's begin our number four journey. As we learn how to factor quadratic equations, we will answer these three questions. First, what is a quadratic equation? Second, what is the zero product property? Third, what should we remember in solving quadratic equations by factoring? Let's start by defining what a quadratic equation is. A quadratic equation in one variable is an equation that can be written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. It is a second degree equation, that is, the term with the variable with the highest exponent is of degree 2. Can you determine whether each equation is quadratic or not? I know you can, so let's try. Is 3x minus 7 equals to a quadratic equation? Very good! This is not a quadratic equation because the term with the highest exponent, 3x, is of degree 1. How about 1 half x plus 7x squared equals 2? Awesome! This is a quadratic equation because the term with the highest exponent, 7x squared, is of degree 2. Last one. Is 11 plus x squared equals 11x plus x squared minus 1 a quadratic equation? Fantastic! This is not a quadratic equation although the term with the highest exponent, x squared, is of degree 2. When simplified, the term with the highest exponent, 11x, is of degree 1. Good job, students! Just keep in mind these two things to identify quadratic equations. First, if the given equation in one variable has no similar terms or grouping symbols, the easiest way to determine whether a given equation is quadratic or not is by looking at the highest exponent of the variable. If the highest exponent is 2, then the given equation is quadratic. Second, it is important to simplify the equation by combining like terms. Take note that there are some equations wherein the term with the highest exponent is 2, but when simplified, the terms with degree 2 will be cancelled. Were you able to get all of that? That's great! Since you already know what quadratic equations are, we can now start solving problems involving it. Are you ready? Let's start. Factoring is the process of finding the factors. It means finding what to multiply together to get an expression. Do you know that we can use factoring to solve quadratic equations? Yes, we can. Let's recall the general form of a quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. If the quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 is factorable, we can factor it and apply the zero product property to solve for the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. 
But wait, what is the zero product property? Don't worry, I am here to help you. The zero product property tells us if A and B are factors such that AB equals zero, then A equals zero and B equals zero, where A and B are real numbers, variables, or expressions. This property applies to three or more factors as well. Here are the steps in solving quadratic equations by factoring. First, rewrite the equation in general form. Second, factor the left side of the equation applying the appropriate method. Third, apply the zero product property equating each factor to zero. Come on, let's try some examples. Take a look at this equation. For the first step, rewrite the equation in general form. For the second step, Factor the left side of the equation applying the appropriate method. And for the third step, apply the zero product property by equating each factor to zero. The roots are zero and negative two. Did you get that? Here's another. If the equation is in the form x minus a times x minus b equals 0, the roots are x equals a and x equals b. Given this, what are the roots of this equation? Awesome! The roots in this equation are 3 and 4. Now, Let's try this. In solving this equation, it is very common for some to equate each factor to the constant written on the right-hand side of the equation. x minus 1 equals 5 and x plus 3 equals 5. x equals 6 and x equals 2. But take note that this is not a correct way of solving the quadratic equation. Substituting what was solved results to the product of 6 plus 1 and 6 plus 2, which is not equal to 5. For the first step, rewrite the equation in general form. For the second step, Factor the left side of the equation applying the appropriate method. And for the third step, apply zero product property by equating each factor to zero. Fantastic! The roots are 2 and negative 4. How about x times x plus 5 equals 0? The common error for some is that they try to divide both sides by x. Dividing both sides of the equation by x makes the implicit assumption that x is not 0. Always remember that division of any algebraic expression by zero is not allowed. We apply the zero product property, then solve. The roots are zero and negative five. Last one. Can you answer this? Very good. The roots are negative 2 and negative 3. That was great, students. Now, let's go back to our three questions earlier. A quadratic equation in one variable is an equation 
that can be written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. It is a second degree equation that is the term with a variable with the highest exponent is of degree two. The zero product property tells us if a and b are factors such that a, b equals zero, then a equals zero and b equals zero, where a and b are real numbers, variables, or expressions. This property applies to three or more factors as well. Here are the steps in solving quadratic equations by factoring. First, rewrite the equation in general form. Second, factor the left side of the equation applying the appropriate method. Third, apply the zero product property equating each factor to zero. You did great! I hope you learned a lot about factoring quadratic equations today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help students like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Again, this is Teacher Tin and see you on our next Numberful Wednesday. Thank you.